Zula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Beakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See the round walls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See the round walls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. In space, no one can hear you complain about the weather because there's nothing to complain about. Oh, no rain, no snow, no warm breezes, no cloudy days. A new, totally unexplored island. I wonder what we'll find here. It looks very much like any tropical island. Well, except for the orange and purple trees, the plaid mountains, and the birds that fly upside down? In other words, this is nothing like a normal tropical island. <laughs> um. <laughs> exactly. This soil sample is a sign that this was once a rainforest. But clearly, it hasn't rained for a long time. Oh, look! A flower! Oh, oh my! It's beautiful! Amazing! And it seems to be the only flower around! I wonder how it survived on its own! Poor lonely little flower! But how long can it last here without some rain? We need to save it! Let's take it back to headquarters! But this is its natural home. We don't know what will happen to it if we take it someplace different. Actually, we could keep it in something that's like its natural home, but with plenty of water. Then what are we waiting for? One more passenger going back to Zula headquarters! Yay! I'm going to call her Flo. And we can build a place for Flo by making her a terrarium. It's like a fish tank for plants, with everything she needs to live and be happy. Here are all the things we'll use. A clear container. In fact, a fish tank is a great choice. A bag of soil, some pebbles, a clear lid for the container, and a lamp. The Multopedia says to first put the pebbles in the bottom of the tank. That's so the water can drain. <laughs> Next, add some soil for Flo to grow in. Then water. Lastly, you need a light bulb for a heat source, just like the sun. Then, put the lid on. And there you have it, a terrarium with everything Flo had back home, plus its own water cycle. Water cycle? What's that? Well, you know that all living things need water. The water cycle is how creatures that live on land get that water. Let's take a trip in the Motopedia. <laughs> Underwater, of course. Actually, we're inside a drop of water, which is part of an ocean. After a while, heat from the sun causes the water to evaporate. That means it turns into water vapor, which is kind of like steam, but not hot. The water vapor then rises into the air. When the air gets cold enough, the vapor becomes tiny drops of water, which mix with a tiny bit of dust to form... A cloud! <laughs> right! And when the clouds are full of water, do you know what happens? It rains! Exactly. It's called a water cycle because it happens over and over again. The water goes from the ground to the air to the clouds and back to the ground. I get it. The 
water cycle works the same way inside a terrarium. Water that's in the soil rises into the air. It gathers on the lid, which acts like a cloud. When there's enough water for a drop, it falls like rain. Huh? A water cycle! It's happening right now! That sound must mean Flo's happy! Zeter, plants don't get happy or sad. Do they? Actually, plants do like having nice places to live. We've given the flower a home where it's warm and has water. So technically, Zeta could be correct. And as long as Flo has me looking after her, she won't be lonely. The end. Good job, team. Those pesky comets won't be bothering Jupiter anymore. Oh, it's good to be home. I could really use a nice hot bath. This should calm them down. They must be having a reaction to their new home. Remember, when we found Flo, she was all alone. When her home changed, she started acting differently. But how did Flo get out of her terrarium? It... it's all my fault. I left the lid off. Without the lid, the water cycle was broken! So Flo got really thirsty and went looking for water. Fascinating! Not only can these flowers walk, but they are able to find water! Earth plants do the same thing when their roots reach for water in the ground. Oh, <laughs> I must study them! Lucky for you, they're everywhere! Well, with the water off, they're under control. At least the worst is over. The flowers can tell that there's rain outside. Oh, no, you don't. We can't let them out in the rain. They'll keep making new flowers till they overrun Zula. They're running out from all over headquarters! Let's go, flowers! Get them! Get them! Let's go, flowers! Oh, oh my! Whoa! Huh? Then there wouldn't be any left for us. That's right. We need a water cycle to help everything grow and live. The water cycle. The rain only falls where there are clouds. Excuse me, clouds. We need your help. 
We just need you over there for a little while. You got it, Bula. Quit your crowd. Who are you shoving? We go hang out over an island and drizzle. Bye bye. Have Thanks a nice day. Ride. Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> yes, this is a rainforest, so it has rain. But don't worry, now that the flowers are back in their home, I don't think that they'll continue to grow out of control. In a miss, Flo. But I'm really happy she's not going to be lonely. She's got lots of new friends. Though April showers may come your way, they bring the flowers that bloom in May. So when it's raining, have no regrets. Because it isn't raining rain, you know. It's raining violets. Hello, Water Watchers. It's time once again for our Molto moment. Whoa! It's kind of wet in here. Are we in a rainforest? No, we're in a terrarium. Building a terrarium is an easy way to create and watch the wonder of the water cycle. Do you remember why it's called a water cycle? It's called a water cycle because it happens over and over again. The water goes from the ground to the air to the clouds and back to the ground. And that cycle makes all life possible? That's right. From people to plants to our little friend here, all of us get our water from the water cycle. So the next time you see some water or some clouds in the sky, you might want to say thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>